everybody, Chris Pamil again from Cross County Cardiology. Today we're talking about valves. Everyone always talks about how they have a leaky valve or there's something wrong with a valve. I wanted to go over it just briefly to talk about some of the things we think about. I pre-drew this because uh, I'm a scientist, not an artist. So we'll do our best. Hopefully over the weeks, these drawings are getting better, but here's your right atrium, your, your right ventricle, your left atrium, your left ventricle. Blood comes in from the right side, gets pumped to the lungs. Now I can't draw it through here because I don't know how to draw in 3D, but it's gonna go into the lungs and then it's gonna come in through here, through the mitral valve, and then it's gonna pump out to the body through the aorta. So we have four valves in the heart. First, it's the tricuspid valve, connects the right atrium to the right ventricle. From the right ventricle, it goes out to the pulmonary artery through the pulmonic valve, easy enough. Blood comes in to the left atrium, it goes to the left ventricle in the mitral valve. And then it goes from the left ventricle out to the aorta, through the aortic valve. You have two atrioventricular valves. You have two valves that go out to the rest of the body. So now you have to think about the two main problems. The two things we think about are stenosis or regurgitation. Stenosis means a stenotic valve is essentially a valve that doesn't open enough. So it is, takes more pressure or more time to get blood out through the valve. We see this most commonly in the aortic valve. So we see aortic stenosis meaning the valve is progressively not opening as much, causing shortness of breath, chest pain, et cetera. The other thing we start to think about is regurgitation, meaning the valve's job is to prevent, is wants blood to go this way. So when the heart squeezes, the mitral valve should close and prevent blood from going backwards. So a regurgitant valve or, regur or a valve with regurgitation essentially doesn't work perfectly and it allows some blood flow to go backwards. Small amounts, so trace or mild amounts of regurgitation do not carry much significance. Over time, they could get worse. And when it becomes more moderate to more severe, we start to watch closer and talk about repairing options. This is Chris Pumba from Cross County, just going over some of the valves.